Small contractors are calling on the government for jobs and for money they would have lost when OAS Constructura was terminated from the Point Fortin Highway project. These subcontractors were being offered jobs through OAS, but they now feel left out of the project. Ian Wayson has more. These small contractors say they were subcontracted by Brazilian firm OAS Constructura to work on the Point Fortin Highway when the firm was the main contractor. But they say since OES was fired from the project and made to repay the government, local small contractors were also left without work. According to spokesman Alistair Ramarak, some of these contractors have been compromised. There are also some contractors that have millions of dollars in materials that is, is to be used in the highway. Mr. Ramarak says each time they have dialogue with the National Infrastructure Development Company Limited, they are being told that NITCO has to speak with a minister. I know today you could communicate to people in Mars and in the moon, but unfortunately NITCO can't communicate, they can't get an answer from the Minister of Works. He is asking why OAS workers were not paid with the money the government recovered from OAS. If this government was people-oriented, this government received 900 million from the OAS bond. They say that, not me. Why it is the government didn't take 18 million of that and pay out the poor OAS workers that they still owe in? As to the timing of their protest, he's adamant it's not political, stressing they have tried talking to NITCO in the past to come to a resolution. Every time we come out to the media and we go to set up here, it's because they would have called us to have a meeting. Just like this morning. So they call us first thing this morning. So they call your time meeting again this morning? Yeah, and we say no, this time we're going to make sure that the media hear our cry. When TTT News contacted Minister of Works, Ruhan Sinanan, he told us that the payment of the OAS workers is the responsibility of OAS, but the government paid them in good faith. In December 2016, the government met with the Oil Fields Workers Trade Union, and the workers were in fact paid. Minister Sinanan also said the government cannot force the local contractors who are now spearheading the project and are already using local contractors to subcontract the work. Ian Wayson, TTT News.